welcome back to our kitchen. And Lisa Marie is with me. And while this fish stew, I, it's called one fish, two dish, simple salmon recipes. And while this is cooking, you have something else you're going to do. Right. Also using salmon. Now this is the marinade. Now if you, if you did this at home, you'd want it to marinate at least could, two hours. Yeah, at least two hours. And if you're busy, you could do it the evening before and leave it in the refrigerator or that morning and, leave, and use it that evening and overnight. it would be okay. Yes, this dish actually the, the, that we're getting ready to do, you can marinate it overnight and then when you get home from work or at it's lunchtime ready. the next time when it's ready. The salmon stew, we could, you could actually do in the crock pot. You would throw everything in the crock pot and then, oh, and then let it that's sit nice. and slow cook. So when you get home, it's already ready. All you have to do is make the cornbread or heat the toast. I'm going to put this in here. I put the lid on it so it come up top since we switched burners. That way you can come and kind of stir it as it, as it okay. cooks and keep an eye on the fish. Um, it doesn't take but about 10 minutes for that dish to finish up from start to finish. And it's really cooking. So. It doesn't have um, a lot of complicated, long cooking ingredients in it. So it doesn't that, take long. Is that too uh, hot? No, it'll, it's, it's just now, it's, we want it to kind of simmer. You want it to simmer okay. for about 8 to 10 right. minutes, and then we'll okay. turn it off, which will be All about right. the time we finish okay. this dish. All right. Now, earlier I put in the brown sugar, the uh, soy sauce, the water, vegetable oil, a little lemon pepper, and some granulated garlic. So there and we it just is. mixed it up. And we, we're going to pretend like it's been two hours. Okay. <laughs> By the magic of TV, I'm going to put a little bit of oil in the pan. Not a whole lot, but just a little to give it... Uh, a little more slipability. It's the it's a this nonstick is, this pan. This is vegetable oil. This is vegetable oil. Um, my, I actually use a vegetable canola blend. Um, there we there's go. new studies coming out on canola oil, where you should have it mixed with other oils. So, um, and you can see that as we start That's as that starts not, to cook, yeah. the as the salmon itself starts to cook, it'll start flaking apart. So it won't stay in those great big chunks. It'll be spread throughout the soup. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pull out one of these guys. That, and the reason you marinate it with a little oil is because if you do cook it in your on your grill, you don't want the oil to you don't want it to stick, and it's going to make a little splash. Do not get burned, okay. please. Yeah, you're right. Woo. <laughs> you know, it's it's there cooking. That's what we do. We cook. There we go. And I've got two more. We'll squeeze those out in just a minute. So this would. It'd be for four people, but right, right. We actually, would do it for that, four. that is ample. It is. Because we get too much food. When you go to a restaurant and they, you order something, they bring you so much food, I'd rather pay less and have less. Exactly. We don't, we don't need as much um, as we eat. That, that's true. If a good serving of meat protein is four to six ounces. Six ounces for fish. And chicken, oh, like and four a ounces for red beans. The size of the square of the palm of your hand, and yeah. just as thick. Yeah. You know, three quarters yeah. of an inch. Now, to cook fish, mm, you know, folks good. say I don't know how long to cook it. I never know, and I'm always afraid I'm going to overcook it. So what I tell them is, it takes about eight inches per inch of fish. So these are kind of thin. So they'll cook in about six minutes, maybe, maybe eight minutes. We'll yeah. flip them over in a okay. couple of yeah. minutes. Yeah. We'll be able to see. I don't know if the guys can get it on the camera or not, but as, as the fish cooks, it's going to change color. And when that color gets halfway up, we'll flip it over because you, you and I can see it from and our of side course, here. You know, if, uh, if you wanted to, you could very easily do this on a grill or you could put the marinated pieces in a grill, in, in, in an oil in pan. A, in a pan and put it in the oven. In the oven at 350 for about 15 minutes yeah, at so the most. At the most. Go wrong. No, it's, it's really a fast cooking dish. Seeing even that salmon in there is starting to cook up and, and break apart as you stir it. Um, it's looking more and more like cooked salmon. Mm. So, okay. so one of the benefits of eating fish, you should eat fish at least twice a week. Um, not more than, but at least twice a week, or up to twice a week, I should say. Omega-3s, it's got a lot of oil for your brain. That's good food for your brain. Um, it's good for your liver and your kidneys. It helps their function and function better. Fish itself has a lot of trace nutrients in it, like um, magnesium and zinc. These are things that we hear all the time in the news. We should be putting them into our diet. Well, this is one way to do it without having to swallow a supplement. Um, fish by itself, you can. There's millions of things you could do with fish. You could take this and plate it like I'm doing with uh, okay. with some rice pilaf and some green beans, 
or you could uh, make a, a, a salmon, um, salmon like puree out of it, chop it up real fine, mix it with a little herbs and mayonnaise, and put it on uh, on a sandwich or on toast. I don't know if they can see it or not, but the, the color has started to change here. See how it's coming mm -hmm. halfway up? It's mm -hmm. time to flip the fish. All right. Fast. Fast food, we, right? I'll hold it. Okay, let me spin it this way okay. so I don't burn you. That's hot. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. That's nice. Right, it gives us that nice color. Now, this is an Asian-style marinade. If you didn't want to have Asian and you wanted a different flavor, you could um, use Italian dressing, and that would give you an Italian flavor to your fish. Um, you could use... Um, just uh, some add some to the same marinade. If you wanted it even more Asian, you could add some ginger and some uh, wasabi, a little bit of wasabi powder to it to give it some heat, and serve it uh, uh, with rice noodles, um, or get some of those egg rolls that you can pick up at the deli and bring home and heat up, mm -hmm. and have a Chinese style meal with the with the Asian style fish. Um, so just use your imagination. Use your imagination. And what's now cooking out here? is the, um, the oils in the fish. That's what we're seeing come out of the side. And, and it's good that it does that. That lets us know the fish is starting to cook all the way through. And uh, a good So this, what do you figure? This doesn't take long at all. Wouldn't no, it? 10 maybe, minutes, maybe 10 minutes tops for, the whole, for all four pieces, which we'll have time to do two more before okay. the show is over. Yeah. And by then the soup will be ready to serve as well. Now I'm keeping an eye on this. See how it's starting to thicken up a little bit as it cooks and it's, uh, that's because the potato starch is releasing into the soup. Now those potatoes, of course, were pre-cooked. Pre you they, boiled those and, and cut them in little bite-sized pieces. I boiled pieces. them last night. Right, I cut them yeah. into, in into bite-sized yeah. pieces and then I boiled and them in water them 10 in minutes. There. For 10 minutes. And then I, I strained them out in a colander, ran cold water over them so I could bring them here today to cook. But if you were doing this at home, you just boil them and drain and them you, and then you'd pour them yeah. in at the you end. You have all kinds of baked goods and things that, that you Sell. We do. We do. We're a custom. We're a custom shop. Um, we are certified chefs. We're qualified to do everything from the entree to the dessert. Uh, I have a couple of folks that have had surgeries and haven't been able to cook for their family, so we're doing the meals for them. That's nice. And you, um, we do everything from breakfast to lunch to dinner to dessert. Everything whatever, in between. Whatever somebody needs. Right. That's it. And when the uh, when the white now starts I, oozing, that's how one of the fish is done. It's almost finished. Almost. I'm going to use my spatula and pull it away and see if more comes out. If more comes out, then we need to give it a minute more. But it's looking, it's looking like it's done. Look at that. It stopped coming out. See? It's just sitting there. So I'm going to pull these two out, and we're going to put two more in. Okay. I was talking with some of the crew earlier about uh, sweets and some of the different things that we do. We also cook for diabetics, uh, and we do a lot of sugar-free items yeah. as well. And I'm going to throw these other two in, All so right. don't let me burn you. Okay, because that pan is hot. It is warm. Ooh. There we go. You know, and if you have a bigger pan, of course, at home, use a bigger pan. I just, that's what we use at yeah. home, so that's how we do it. I'm keeping and, an eye on this. Yeah. Um, that is actually ready to serve, I do believe. The fish looks like it's cooked all the way through. It's lost its and the translucency and is more opaque. Yeah, okay. That's it. Whatever you say. Now you've got toast with this. Yeah, just some, I, I, we make bread. Every Wednesday and Friday at the bakery, we make fresh white wheat rye, at rye and multi-grain bread. And you can call us and come by and pick it up. Um, so I, I just used some of our bread and I made garlic toast because that's what we like. Um, how is that? You know, or you could do just plain toast, or you could do toast and butter, or toast and jam. Um, this is, this is, go. this is nice. It, it's, it really does have a good It smells good, to doesn't it? it? Mm -hmm. it smells healthy. Um, yeah. And fish is very good for you. Now, should I turn that off? Let's go ahead and turn that off. We'll let it start cooling down. Yeah. Um, yeah. But that gives the folks at home an idea of what the, the stew looks like. And, um. Well, now, don't you, you would serve the salmon with the with the green beans and the rice pilaf. That's a wild rice pilaf that I made. And um, this over there, you have a complete meal. That's a complete meal. You could put this salmon after you cook it. You could put it on a salad if you wanted to, and a have a salad, of greens, a plate and of then greens, put that and then put the top. fish on top. Little Asian dressing, um, and an Asian dressing is very easy to make. That's just a little soy sauce, a little. Uh, sesame oil, a little regular oil whisked into it, like a, an mm -hmm. olive oil, and mm -hmm. you just keep whisking, and a little ginger and garlic. And that's, that's all there is to it. It's that simple. 
If you wanted to make it a sweet dressing, you could you could add a little brown sugar to it when you were mixing it up. I'm gonna flip these over. They're looking. These pieces are thinner than the than the last ones that we cooked. Yeah, you so. sort of have to gauge. If, yeah, you got to watch. It's a very small piece of salmon. You don't need to. It doesn't take. Doesn't quite take as long at all. all. You can almost and you can watch the store at. sales when the store sales are are going, and they you know you can buy the fish already frozen like I had it here. Um, if you watch the sales, you can load up on it and have it and have it in the freezer for when you need it. That's um, a, that's a very good idea. Yeah. Now this this is um, this recipes. We love we just love sharing with people. And if you would like these, all you have to do if you can send us that self-addressed stamped envelope, it really does help us. And send it to the Peggy Denny show, Post Office Box 1616, Greenville, South Carolina 29602. And we need the number because we have oh, we have hundreds of recipes. One of these days we may even get around to putting them all in a book, but right now we need the, the number, and it's 775, recipe number 775. And we'll send it right away, or you just click on Peggy Denny, and there it is. And you can try these with your family. They're fun, they're easy, and a little different. They're different, and, and they're versatile. If you don't like salmon, do the same thing with flounder or whiting or perch. Any kind of fish. Any fish would fit. Would fit this. This you could do this with. You could do this with shrimp. You could do this with scallops. If that you know if that's what if that okay. what if that's what floats your boat. All right. Okay. <laughs> so here it is. One fish, two dish. There we go. Lisa Marie, thank you thank so you. much. And the name, of course, of her company is Loafing Around. Right. Yes, ma'am. Loafing around bakery. <laughs> and she has great baked goods as well. Thank you, Thank so, you much. so much. And wherever you are, stay safe and eat well. We'll see you next time.